Meanwhile, Derek Rose is trying to right this ship. So basically what he said was, F all the haters that are talking smack about me. I'm Derek mother effing Rose. You think you forgot? Here's what he told Nick Friedel. I, I'm, he didn't say that, but here's what I'm saying he through him. Some interesting thoughts from D Rose today after practice, and this was on the 10th. So here is what he wrote transcribed through his Twitter. Derek Rose, when asked if he feels there are still people cheering for his, what does it say, cheering for his return and also doubters who don't believe in him anymore. This is how I feel about it, the whole perspective on it. You could have, you could have your perspective on me as far as I'm a bum, I can't play, I can't shoot, this and that. All right, cool. I have no hard feelings with that. I'm cool with that. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But at the same time, I don't need your effing validation. I know who I am, I know what type of player I am. So you respect that and respect that point of view and we should be good. That's how I feel about it. Derrick Rose has always been outspoken. Sometimes though it's bit him in the ass because a lot of times he's come off as, I hate to say it, but an ass. Yet here's what Derrick Rose said previously to the Minnesota media. Um, I think I could play with anybody to tell you the truth. Um, I know the game, I'm not a selfish player. And I'm not here for stats or anything like that. I just want to win. I'm still here. You know what I mean? That that shows everybody about my character and all that. I'm still here playing. I'm still I still love the game. And like I said, I can sit here and tell you that all this by expressing it but with words, but I want to do it with action by me going out there and playing the way that I want to play. Saying all the right things, as we do know. I believe and we'll get into a few more of his quotes, but how I see this is every athlete has a defining moment where you reach the peak, a la an MVP, you have the come down, and then you have that defining moment of reflection. Derrick Rose may be going through that moment of reflection when he was offered 10 day contracts. And then he was hitting bunnies in a Cleveland State gymnasium, him and maybe a trainer from the school or just a ball boy. I think he hit his precipice of the lowest point of his career, aside from having torn ACL, torn meniscus, what have you. So now if he is turning the page, I'm very happy for him. But I'm also, like you know me, I'm the believe it when I see it sort of guy because it is how it was ingrained in me from a young age as being a Chicago Cubs fan. This is the year, Ron Santa would say, <laughs> this is what it's gonna be, they're gonna win it this year. It's like, no, 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 hang on a second. I'll believe it when I see it. So as long as I see the evidence that he is now able to right this ship and overcome his past woes and have that reflecting reflecting moment where he comes down to earth and he's like, okay, I, 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 I gotta give it to the team, then I will buy into it. Well, Derek sometimes Rose. that's what's needed. I mean, again, like I was saying before, I think we did it. I'm sure I said it on camera, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. We went through the list of injuries he's had. Yes, many times. And, and, and the devastating nature of several of them. And how even when you're back, it could have been someone else you're talking about, but even when you're physically oh, yeah. back, your mentality has to get up, catch up with that. As an athlete, I, I think yeah, Denise was on. I was asking, I said, how many times have you turned your ankle playing basketball? And she's like, can't tell you. Countless. But every time you do it, even to this day, just playing pickup ball, you look and you're like, oh, you don't want to turn your ankle again because you remember that. Mm -hmm. Like I turned my ankle so bad twice in my foot, then my ankle, I was nauseous. <laughs> I will never forget that. So your mentality has to get back, especially at a level this high in the NBA. To the caliber player he was, you have to get your mind back to that fearlessness, and it's tough. So Maybe he needs to be sparked by this much anger and, and annoyance with how people are treating him to, to turn that. Pace. Okay, so to go further, this is almost verbatim what you're saying. I tried to prevent myself from falling. I twisted my ankle, but people from the outside, the basketball fans, they're on Snapchat, they're on Twitter, the gram, whatever, just looking at highlights, looking at reports. Oh, he injured himself again. Did you watch the play? No. You're writing a comment before you even watch the play. You didn't even watch the whole game, so I can't take you serious. I'm 29, they're acting like I'm 39. I'm still able to push the ball up the floor, they're acting like I'm in a wheelchair. All these injuries, like even coming here to take my physical, the Timberwolves medical staff looked at my physical, they couldn't believe how my body was in good shape. All right, now you're just gloating. <laughs> 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 Little things like that push me to go out here and work even harder because on the outside looking in, you probably think I walk with a limp. <laughs> Walking with a limp, YG. You probably think I'm wearing ice bags every day, this and that. Man, it's totally opposite of that. Well, here's what he's talking about. Previously, ESPN put out a report that's saying, oh, well, he's away from the team, one team source, he's tired of being hurt, da da da. Cool, I get it. 
What I think we are learning right now through these quotes is that Derrick Rose pays attention. He is yeah. pissed with everyone. He's pissed with the outside noise. It has gotten to him. It has almost retired him. Physically as much mentally mm -hmm. is what I'm drawing from this. Do you not see the same? Yeah, no, I, no, I totally see it. That's the thing. When we talk about Kevin Durant and how he paid attention to folks, account. and you can see he comes back to the point where he had to have a second account, as you mm -hmm. just mentioned, right? Yeah. So a lot of guys pay attention. I mean, these guys are like anyone else. They pay attention to what's going on, many of them. I say most of them, but a few don't. They pay attention to what's happening. The next quote, I'm expecting D Rose to say, I saw what Rick Stratton said on TYT <laughs> Sports. Who are these bums? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, he pays attention to what's going on. It's just, of course, the smart thing to do is to not say anything openly directly to the media because it would fuel it. But he's like, I've been quiet, and this stuff is still being fueled. But he hasn't been quiet. He's not responding like this. That's his why actions it's a story. have spoken louder than words. I mean, the way he, he's playing. But I'm talking about his annoyance with the, the perception of him being a, a old ass man who walks with a limp and has ice on his knees every day. Right, but he also to go to the point of. With a limp and his knees, nice cut by the way, with a limp and his knees and crap like that. He said prior to entering free agency, I don't know, I wanna be able to walk during my son's graduation. I get it, man, you've been injury riddled, you're not playing football. And that's also not what people wanna hear. And you know who else doesn't wanna hear that? Executives with every single team when you are about to be a free agent. Right. Cause now you're just looking at it like, oh man, I, I got one foot out the door. This is similar to what Miguel Cotto said when he faced off against Antonio Margarito. Oh, well, you know, I don't know how much longer I have. I'm like, oh, I'm betting Margarito. And Margarito <laughs> won. Now, granted, he cheated. Margarito <laughs> won. You don't show that. However, what we are learning, Derek Rose certainly does pay hey, attention. But you know how I am, this type of stuff. Guess, guess who I'm a new fan of? Derek Rose. And I never disliked him, but I was like, oh, man, I'm ready for this. I want to see this. I like this.